everybody, it's Harriet from So Me Sunshine and we're going to do a little tutorial about identifying different types of fabric. Now at So Me Sunshine we stock a lot of dead stock fabric, um, that's X designer fabric and it's either been produced, like overproduced by a designer or a manufacturer or a lot of high-end designers will print different scales or like test out their designs or different types of fabric. So for example, it's quite common if a designer is going to use a silk as their final image, what they'll do is they'll practice it on a viscose to start with and then they might change the scale or the um, colours and things like that with the final design so then that fabric's left over and they're not going to use it and that's when we can come in and buy that stock and then you guys can make beautiful garments with it so it's normally really exciting dead stock fabric um, because it's unique um, normally if I get a roll of it like it's very rare that I can get it again um, so it is really exciting and it's, um, like I said, you can make a really unique garment with it. But when it comes to dead stock, I am told what substrate it is sometimes. But what I want to do is always check it because sometimes they might say it's a viscose and then I might test it and it might actually turn out to be a silk or vice versa. Um, so what I've learned over the years is to do something called a burn test on all the fabrics that come in so that I can give a better idea to you guys what the actual type of fabric is. So I'm going to briefly talk to you about doing a burn test. So for one, you need to make sure it is a very safe environment. <laughs> so obviously don't make, make sure that there's nothing flammable in the same area as what you're gonna, where you're gonna be doing the burn test. You could always do it outside. We're obviously doing it inside the studio today, but the doors are wide open, so we've got lots of ventilation because some of the fabrics that we're gonna be burning today will be synthetic fabrics. So they give off a lot more chemically smell. So definitely lots of ventilation uh, obviously you need a lighter um, I think it's better to get the one with a, like a longer tip because obviously then your fingers aren't anywhere near it and then you also need some tweezers so that again you're not holding the fabric so that if it was suddenly to burn very quickly your fingers are going to be f safe and then I do have my little tray um, so that it's again not going to burn onto anything it's just going to be on the tray and also I will always have water nearby for emergencies and then in the studio anyway we've got like fire blankets and some other um, safety equipment so just be wary if you're going to do this at home just think about the environment and make sure you've got precautions available so that you can take out that flame very quickly um, and obviously you don't want to put any harm to yourself or anyone else around you. So those are the equipment that I'd recommend when doing a burn test um, and now what we're going to do is go through each different type of fabric type and explain what they are and then show you how it burns and what we would expect to see. So when you're doing your burn test, what we're going to be looking at is how quickly did it ignite, what sort of flame you're going to be looking at, does it continue to burn or does the flame go out quite quickly, what sort of smoke or smell is given off that burn test and lastly what residue you're going to be left with. So is it like a hard lump or is it quite does it crumble very easily? Um, and again, what colour is the residue as well? So the first fabric we're going to look at today is cotton. So cotton is a natural fibre, it comes from the cotton plant. You can get lots of different types of cotton fabrics. You've got a cotton lawn which is lighter and silkier, really good for dressmaking and great for the warmer weather. And then you've got your kind of medium weight cottons which are used not just for um, clothing because they can be used for clothing but obviously a bit more structured but they can also be used for like bag making or quilt making um, and things like that. And then you've also got a cotton poplin that's kind of in your in between a cotton lawn and a medium weight or slash quilting cotton. 
And on my website at Sew Me Sunshine, under each type of fabric, there's a nice description for you so you'll never get lost and oh gosh what 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 does cotton fabric mean um, and we always try and break down in the listings what that fabric and um, what the drapes like or how heavy it is and whether it's opaque or not and things like that So that is a cotton fibre and it burns quickly with a yellow flame, continues to burn when the flame is removed and it's got a soft grey ash, no beading, so it's nice and soft, I'm not going to touch it because obviously it's still burning and it smells like burning paper or kind of like a burning leaves. Then we're going to do a test on wool fabric at uh, Somi Sunshine. We do stock some 100% wools, not really in the kind of spring summer time, more so in the autumn winter time in the UK here. Um, but what's lovely about the 100% wool fabrics is that we normally get in stock is that they're from Abraham Moon, which is a UK manufacturer of wool. It's very rare in the UK to have um, fabric that is actually made in England. Um, so what the, what the wool fabric is one of those fabrics that is made in England. So with wool, it's an animal-based fiber. So that will give it a completely different smell to it and it, how it burns as well. So this is one of our 100% wools. As you can see, it actually burns very, very slowly and it self extinguishes as soon as the flame's removed. The fabric curls away, as you can see there, from the flame. It's got, it's very hard for you to see because obviously the tray's black, but it's actually just black, very black, brittle ash that is left. It's actually quite a dark smoke that comes off and it smells like burning hair. Next we're going to look at silk. Silk is something we don't stock hugely at Somi Sunshine just because of the costs that come with it but if we do find a really good um, silk dead stock then I get it straight away because it is quite exciting. So with silk, as I'm sure lots of you know, it's a natural fibre and it's made from the fibrogen from insects. So that's quite exciting and that's what it's mainly con um, consisted of. You get a very lovely soft silky like texture which is what you'd expect. It's normally quite lightweight and has a very fluid drape to it. So this is one of our 100% silk fabrics. As you can see it's very similar to the wool where it burns slowly, it self extinguishes as soon as the flames are removed. The fabric does curl away like the wool fabric does, very little smoke but it's a darker crushable ash and also it also smells like burning hair but compared to the wool it's actually stronger, a lot stronger. Next we're going to look at linen. We stock lots of linen at Sew Me Sunshine. Obviously this test is going to be on 100% linen because we're specifically looking at what linen is like to do a burn test on. Linen is produced from the stem of the flax plant and as I said it's completely natural and it is seen as one of the most sustainable type of fibres because it doesn't require like extra water to allow it to grow, it just uh, grows through naturally with the rainwater and because it's 100% natural fibre it biodegrades on its own so that's better than it being sitting in somewhere for a very long time. It's also very strong and durable so your garments are going to last a good period of time as well. Just one thing to note that if you're doing a burn test on a blend and that's quite common when you've got linen you get like a linen viscose blend for example bear in mind that when it comes to the blend you might see some characteristics from let's say the linen but you also will see characteristics from whatever it is blended with like a viscose so that's something to bear in mind when you're doing a burn test this is one of our 100 percent linens so remember if it's a blend it will burn very differently and this one it burns very quickly it's got a yellow flame and it continues to burn even after the flame's been removed and it doesn't melt or have any bees, it's got some soft grey ash to it 
and it smells like burning paper. We stock a lot of viscose at Somi Sunshine and that's what we're going to look at next in the burn test. With viscose, it's neither a synthetic fibre but at the same time it's not a natural fibre either. It's from wood pulp, um, from lots of different types of plants. You might see a bamboo, for example, um, and but then you've got chemicals and water added to it to actually generate the viscose. You can now get some more kind of environmentally friendly or sustainable types of viscose out there that uses like a, a loop back system. So any chemicals or water used is reused within the system. So that's more friendly for the environment. So it just depends. With viscose though, what's really lovely about it is that you get so many different types of viscose. You get a viscose crepe, which has that classic crepe texture, a viscose lawn that does feel like a cotton lawn and lovely and lightweight, a viscose satin, which obviously is that, that nice silk kind of finish to it and almost handles like a silk. You've got a viscose twill that is slightly more sturdy, um, less likely to crease and is a really good type of fabric to try when you're new to sewing with a drapey type fabric. Obviously, like I said, with viscose, it is going to have a, quite a bit of drape to it. So it's perfect for making dresses with all the tears. So that's why it's one of my favourite types of fabric. This is a viscose fabric. As you can see, it burns very quickly. It's got a yellow flame. It continues to burn even after the flame's been removed. It doesn't melt or have any kind of hard beads that are left. And it's got a soft gray ash. And the smell is burning paper smell. I'm going to briefly talk about Tensile. Obviously Tensile is the trademark name for Lyocell that is produced by Lensing, which is the company that trademarks Tensile. So Tensile is a form of viscose. So we're not going to burn Tensile separately today because you will see near enough the same as what you would see with a viscose because it's made out of wood pulp just like viscose is, it's just a different type of process and different wood. When it comes to tensile, it is trademark tensile because it uses a sustainable source of wood and there's certain steps that have to be done in order for lensing to certify as tensile. It also takes into account the not just the environmental impact but also looks at the social impact as well. So there's lots of steps that have to be done for it to be certified by lensing as being tensile. At Somi Sunshine, you'll never see us um, say something is tensile unless we're sure that those certifications have um, been approved by the either, most likely from the factory, and then the manufacturer has got that certification so that we can check. At Somi Sunshine, we don't stock a huge amount of polyester but we will sometimes stock it um, if we think the design is really amazing or it may even be blended with um, a more natural fibre. So polyester is completely synthetic, so it's a man-made fibre and it will burn very differently to the natural fibres that I've just gone through with you. So with polyester, you will find it in a lot of different types of fabrics. So you might find it in different types of crepe. You can also find it in like a chiffon, so really soft and drapey. And you can find it also in like a scuba. We don't stock a lot of scuba, um, but that is again, nine times out of 10, it'll be a polyester content. This is one of our polyester fabrics. It burns very slowly and this has done a great job because it's shown you that it melts. So um, it shrinks away from the flame and it self extinguishes and there's a black smoke that comes off it that you probably didn't quite see. It's melted the actual fabric and it's left a really hard black residue that you can't crush. 
and it smells almost like a sweet chemical-y type smell. And we're going to be looking at nylon today. So nylon is a really good fabric for making, obviously not just like active wear, but also swimwear. And recently at Somi Sunshine, we've just started stocking nylon that is actually Eco Nile registered. And that is a more sustainable type of nylon because what it does is it uses regenerated nylon. So quite a lot of the time they'll use it from like old fishing nets or old carpets and use that nylon that's in that to make their eco nail, so their regenerated nylon. And that fabric, after we've used it, it can be reused and reused again to make the fibre, the nylon synthetic fibre to make the fabric and it doesn't affect the quality at all. So that's really positive as obviously it is a man-made fibre, it, it doesn't naturally biodegrade. So it's really positive that we've got this type of nylon that we can now stock and use in the sewing community. So we're gonna see how that burns today. This is one of our nylon, our eco um, active wear fabrics. As you can see, it burns very slowly. It shrinks away from the flame, it self-ignites, and it melts just like the polyester does. Um, and at the end of it, it leaves a hard black melted beads. And it also, they can't be crushed just like the polyester. But unlike the polyester, it has a slightly different type of smell, almost smells like celery. It's not as strong as the polyester kind of chemically smell. And lastly, we're gonna do a burn test on a fabric containing spandex. So I've actually chosen a cotton jersey, but obviously spandex can be in not just your knitted fabrics, it can also be in your woven fabrics. So you can have a woven fabric that's obviously more structured, like a cotton sateen that has some spandex in it, which will give it a bit of stretch or like a denim with some um, that could be a cotton denim but then have spandex in it to obviously make it a bit more comfortable and then like I said it's very common in a lot of um, jersey fabrics. This is one of our cotton spandex it's a jersey fabric so obviously what you will see is similar to a cotton but what we're looking for is the fact that it's got the elastane in it so what does the elastane cause to the burn test? So as you can see, it burns just like a cotton would. But unlike a complete 100% cotton, it does melt slightly and it does give off a little bit of a chemical-y type smell and it leaves some soft black ash. But like I said, it because of the elastin content, you can smell a bit of chemical smell in with the um, normal kind of cotton burn test. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon and don't forget to have a look at Sony Sunshine's website. Bye!